what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A chart purportedly ranking the intelligence quotients of U.S. presidents has been making its rounds on social media since December, along with the claims that Donald Trump is one of the smartest presidents in U.S. history? Yeah, that's what it says. They rank him as one of the smartest ever with an IQ of 156. Now, y'all know, soon as you hear something like that, you know it's a bold-faced lie. Because the IQ is a number representing a person's level of reasoning ability. You know the dude don't have a reasoning bone in his body. Now, this dude went to Warden School of Business in Pennsylvania. He graduated in 1968 with a degree, a bachelor's degree in economics. Now, the guy who came up with this chart, he said that because Donald Trump attended Warden, he estimated that his IQ was 156. So this ain't even facts. There's no scientific proof. There's no data. There's no real document. It's, it's, it's not document. This is just something dude pulled out his ass and said, I, I, based on him attending Warden, Warden being such a prestigious Ivy League school, I would estimate that Donald Trump uh, IQ is uh, 156. Now, there's a woman by the name of Gwenda Blair who wrote a book in 2001, I believe, uh, where she was interviewed and she said that Donald Trump's um, scores, his grades at Fordham, the college that my daughter attends, were respectable. At best, they were respectable. His scores were respectable. So he transfers over to Warden School of Business in Pennsylvania, and he, he graduates with an economic degree. The only reason why he got into the school in the first place is because there was an admissions officer who was a classmate of his older brothers. Now, you got people, one of the first things they say, they're always trying to compare Obama to Donald Trump. Let me tell you something, man. You can say a lot of things about Barack Obama. But one thing you can't ever call him is dumb. Now, they love to compare how smart Barack was or is to Donald Trump. When clearly any logical person could put them side by side and on any level, you could tell that Donald Trump just don't belong in the same class with Barack Obama, intelligence-wise, class-wise, or otherwise. Uh, there's just no comparison, especially when it comes to academics. Barack got into Columbia and Harvard based on his academic prowess. He graduated with honors Magnum cum laude. Donald Trump got into the schools he got into with his daddy's money, graduated with no honors, and speaks on a fifth grade level. Should have been on that show, Are You Smarter Than a Fourth Grader? I believe that's what they call it. Is it smarter than a fourth grader or fifth grader? Whatever it is, y'all know what I'm talking about. 
the dude dumber than a bag of rocks. Now, for a lot of people, it's very hard for them to understand how could a man that rich be dumb, be ignorant. People, there are people who win the lottery every day that ain't got a lick of sense. There are people who inherit trust funds, ain't got a lick of sense. There are people who receive a million dollars from their rich daddies and take on businesses that are already structured for them. They walk right into the business model and poppy say, do this, this, and this, and repeat. And that's all you do. It's just this, 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 and repeat. It's already laid out for you. Daddy done already made all the contacts. Daddy done already made all the money. All you got to do now, you in. You are the son of Fred Trump. You already in. All you got to do now, you got the money, so automatically when you got money, people going to give you a certain level of respect. You're going to have a certain level of access. This is what I, any of you are doing. This is what I, you putting in any effort whatsoever. You going in strictly based off of name recognition. And people are going to give you access. They're going to want to do business with you. Based on that, you ain't got to have no hell of a speech. You ain't got to do no 10 point or 30 point uh, presentation. You ain't got to do none of that stuff. Once you in, you in. All you got to do at that point, even if you try to mess it up, when you got a certain amount of money, it's very, very hard to mess it up. Because people will forgive you over and over again and don't matter what kind of crooked, low-down person you are, people still want to do business with you when you got money. Don't matter how evil you are how wicked you are, how immoral you are, how bigoted, racist, how misogynistic you are. It doesn't matter. People will give you a pass. And when you got that money, especially in a country like the United States where money trumps everything, money is the beginning and the end of everything. People kill their parents for money. People kill their children for money. People sell out their best friends for money, stab their spouses, blow up houses, burn down the crib, and everything for this money, for the almighty dollar. People would do anything for the almighty dollar in the United States. They'll do anything. So at the end of the day, you don't have to be smart to be a millionaire or even a billionaire in the United States when it's already laid in anywhere. If it's already laid out for you, when the structure is already laid out, you have a template of success. You got the manuscript given to you. All you got to do at that point is keep it moving. And then along the way, if you're ambitious, because ambitious and being smart is two different things. Being very bright and being am ambitious is two totally different things. Didn't Kanye make a song where he was talking about how dude was gonna be, how dude was ambitious at some uh, restaurant, like that, some dude that was flipping burgers at a restaurant or something like that? <laughs> he was ambitious. He can be ambitious like, man, you know what? Shit, I flipped, I flipped uh, 200 burgers yesterday Today I'm going for 250. That's ambition. So stop getting it confused when you see money and you see people with money thinking they're automatically smart or they're intelligent. They got some type of high IQ. They're just following the template. That's it. They got a template. They didn't do no critical thinking to get to where they are. And Donald Trump didn't do no critical thinking to get to the way he is. Keep in mind, y'all. The man bankrupted several businesses along the way. Several. 
There's many people who has lost money with Donald Trump. Yeah, he made money for himself. But it's a whole lot of people who he ruined financially. Let me tell you something, man. Being pompous, ignorant, and bigoted is not an indicator of a high IQ. But I'm going to tell you this. Regardless of what Donald Trump's IQ is, he's still a total zero in my book. No more talk. What, what the man is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.